Hi guys, so I have to make an admission. Until recently I stated that arch Brexiteers and senior Tories, the mega rich and the upper class, would not suffer the consequences of Brexit. But I was wrong. Some of them are at the sharp end of this too. Almost like when David Cameron, former Prime Minister, said many years ago, when it came to austerity, we're all in this together. It seems Brexit is finally harming the Tories, or at least some Tories are concerned with it. A Conservative member of the House of Lords made a request to the Brexiteer government to introduce special immigration rules to fix the current shortage of au pairs. Baroness Hodgson of Abinger told peers that Brexit now means that there will be no visa route to bring au pairs to Britain. She described the problem hitting hard-working families that are struggling at the moment to find the type of childcare and teachers that they would normally avail of through the au pair programme. The Tory peers said the government had previously promised a temporary visa work route, but none of this had yet been delivered. She said, and I quote, The au pair scheme is an excellent scheme. It gives hard-working families the benefit of flexible childcare, and au pairs leave the UK with improved English and are great ambassadors. According to the British Au Pairs Agencies Association, Caroline Noakes, the Immigration Minister in 2019, gave assurances that there would be a temporary visa work route for au pairs, but this has not happened. She said finally, Can my noble friend the Minister inform the House of when we can expect this to occur and when she will undertake to expedite this issue? Around 40,000 families rely on au pairs for childcare, and this is according to the British Au Pairs Agencies Association. However, the plight of families struggling to find an au pair was mocked by Brexiteer and fellow peer Lord Lilly. He said that the House of Lords would be ridiculed if they were seen undoing Brexit because some families can't deal with their servant problem. Of course, we know that not just au pairs are facing post-Brexit immigration issues, the ending of freedom of movement and the new immigration system has hit a whole range of sectors from fruit pickers to heavy goods vehicle drivers. These industries have been calling for the government to change rules to make it easier to hire workers from abroad. While the government has been willing to make some minor changes when it came to heavy goods vehicle drivers, allowing for more visas to be issued, whether it would fix the problem or not, au pairs will not be considered, it seemed. Conservative Home Office Minister Baroness Williams told the House of Lords that the government does not have any plans at the moment to amend the au pair system. Of course, one of the arguments Brexiteers made for leaving the EU was that post-Brexit there would be fewer foreign workers and that wages would go up. Well, wages have gone up for heavy goods vehicle drivers, but the problem is that they haven't really increased the number of operators. It's more of a case of staff moving from one company to another, the latter obviously paying more. Au pairs look after kids and help with chores, and in return receive free boarding and lodging, as well as around £75 to £85 pounds a week per government guidelines. Critics say the immigration rules will now impact young people seeking to explore different countries the most by limiting their opportunities. In 2020, the head of the association representing agencies hiring au pairs talked about how the ending of the agreement with the European Union would cause problems for both families in Britain and those on the continent. Families have said that they might have to give up work and claim benefits because they can't afford to have a nanny, and breakfast and afternoon clubs don't work if you work shifts. We are flummoxed by it all. It's a mutually beneficial cultural exchange program. So finally, it seems that young people will be denied the possibility to live for some time in the UK to improve their English and to learn childcare skills. Middle and upper class families in Britain will now need to find an alternative childcare solution. Many of the upper class who thought they were protected from Brexit perhaps have now a bit of a headache to deal with. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.